when I graduated library school in Canada, I was told by one of my mentors that I should get into data as soon as possible. So I was accepted to the NLM Associate Fellowship Program, where I made it my goal to spend every hour of my day learning about data in some way. So I worked with the BD2K initiative, the Big Data to Knowledge, and tried to gain as much insight into helping researchers with data and data discovery as I could, which then allowed me to transition into my role at NYU. I think what I wish I had known more about were other colleagues in the field who were also working with data. I think it took me a very long time to find other librarians working in the field of data management. I think it was still new at the time, but having some way to connect us so we could talk about what we were doing and strategies was something I wish I had known earlier, and once I found them, it was great, but it took a while. What I try to do is tell them that I make researchers work more efficient and I make the work that they do more discoverable and available so that other people can use it. I think people who are interested in data librarianship should first learn a lot about the research process first and contextualize what they need to know before they approach it from a library's perspective. So reading articles about researchers in the field that they're interested in and people who they might have to serve within their own institution to figure out what their needs are and to talk to those particular researchers to find out more about what their needs are before they think about how to contextualize it from a library perspective. Probably the biggest horror story has come out recently from a researcher who was developing a survey for a group of uh, population health patients that they were working with in a specific community and they wanted to develop a very easy form for them to use to collect data. What we didn't realize was that the form consisted over a of a thousand variables. They assumed naturally that they could take this and someone would spend the time to fill out a thousand variables in one sitting when you have patients in specific community centers who don't have 800 hours to fill out a thousand variable form. This is just one example, I think, of where we assume that researchers know how to think about data management from the outset, but had never thought about how they might work in terms of interacting with people who need to enter that data, and then what that data might actually look like on the other end. So from my perspective as a librarian, I was able to get them to contextualize and think about how data management can be improved by shortening their forms from a thousand variables to less, and thinking about it from an analysis perspective. So bringing that kind of particular bent to it, I think helped the researcher a lot in figuring out a better way to administer that survey and get the data that they needed.